I'm going to be explaining to you about place value and big numbers. Just to recap, we all should be familiar with units, tens, and hundreds. When I go from the number 5 there, and I times it by 10, I am now moving the 5 from the units to the tens column. And so the 5 now becomes 50. And if I multiply 50 by 10, the 5 now moves one column space to the left, and it now becomes 500. Now we get to a slightly bigger number, and we see this number here. This number is right across there, is 5,000. Now the easy way to read numbers is to always work from the right, go backwards, and work in sets or groups of three. So there are three numbers. You already know that this is hundreds. So after the space, leave a space, there's the next number. That is always thousands. Over here we have the number 50. 50 what? 50. This number over here, you can clearly see that there are six numbers, so we have 500,000. And this bottom number, you can see that there are seven numbers in total. So it's 5, and we go backwards, so we go, oh yes, now there we have, that's hundreds, so that's thousands, and after the thousands we leave a space, and we have 5 million. Remember a million will always have 6 places after the first digit, 5 million. Remember to group the numbers in groups of three. So the top number there is 50,000. Second one, 500,000. 